What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Tekken. We've only done two videos this week. Can't believe we're only on a Wednesday, but still. We should have an easier time today. We're playing as the fastest character in the game, and this is when I start getting my ass kicked a lot more, isn't it? See, this is the this is the punch he constantly does to me. This is the constant punch he does. By the way, this is supposed to be uneasy, so. Can we do the move I want to do? Alright, this dude's kicking my ass. How? Alright, Law was being probably. What the fuck? Why is Jack blocked every single fucking move? Every single. Um, hello? Okay, thank you, Law. What the fuck? I'm actually confused by that. Why is he blocking every single attack I've given him? It shouldn't do, it's on fucking easy. Is that it? No, it's not that bit, is it? There's a backflip button. I don't know how to do it. Well, that does that. Figured that out. <clears throat> okay, we can jump kick, that's fine. Very concerned why Jack blocked every single one of my attacks. Interesting. Probably to give it more advan advan advantages to the AI? Genuinely have no idea. The problem is, if I fucking lose this, because the chances are I'm going to most likely lose. Because of fucking stupid AI. I hate AI. <laughs> The thing is, I'm trying to run, but he's not running. He takes a leap forward and that's it. That's all that's happening and it's fucking infuriating. I wish, like, the fucking AI didn't block every single fucking attack of mine, though. It is very infuriating. There we go. We can do some more shit with war. The fucking running again! Why is the running not happening? It's very irritating because I kind of want to try and do a backflip, but the backflip isn't working. Because the... <laughs> it's bugging me because I know the moves. I just can't do the moves properly. Alright, Rival seems to be stage 4. Potentially. Um, I don't know who the unlockable character is going to be for lore. Not a clue. Saying that though, Yoshimitsu should have unlocked... Um, Kunimitsu, but it didn't. Oh, so close. So close. See, I've, I've noticed we don't go to the main menu screen anymore. Or the character select, so we'll move things on a lot faster. There you go, do one of those. There you go. Right, I know how to use Law, which is good. He's very slow with his kicks. Very fast with his hands, though. It's very strange, because if Paul gets going... Oh god, he's, he's in, isn't he? He's in. <laughs> Jesus! That was genuinely close. Alright, cool. We start. We, we tend to struggle a lot more around round 6, 7, and 8. We'll soon see how that turns out. You should have unlocked Garn, really, to be fair. Because it's your fucking... Well, he's interested in you. You're love interest in shit. Alright, don't hurt me. Oh, I know I got too close to the kicks. And I still let him get too close to me. I forgot what Michelle can do fight-wise. Seeing as she doesn't turn up in the games no more. Like, canon-wise, because Tekken Tag's not canon anymore. I don't think she popped up in 5. Julia turned up recently, because she doesn't turn up often. I don't think she was in five. Oh, got a lucky punch there. Okay, that's fine. Law seems to be the best character we've played us so far. But it could all turn around because King is very strong. I think King might unlock Armor King when we get to it, but I'm not 100 on that. I wish I could learn how to do some of these fucking moves, dude. That's, that'll do. There we go. Lore is definitely the easiest one to fight as. Unless I'm learning how to play the game, I doubt that is the case, though. 
but still, Yoshimitsu. Great. How many spoon moves are you going to fucking throw me? Like I said, I've got the speed, you've just got the strength. See what I mean? That's what he kept on doing to me every time I played as Yosh. And it was fucking pissing me the fuck off, dude. Don't you d That was not in the book. The, that, that move, what he was about to do to me, was not in that fucking book. I looked through that book when playing this fucking game with Yoshimitsu. Oh, it's Wang, okay. Final round. You are a lot different in your fighting stance there, Mr. Wang. Same fighting move, though. I would like to do... I'd like to learn the move he uses when, like, blocking and shit. Okay. Two of those back-to-back -back with the reflection thing. Seriously, old man? Fucking really? I need to try and get low, because I feel like Law's weakness is if you do his three-kick combo... It can get under you. And I feel like the AI is literally focusing on that alone. I'm trying to get the punches in, but... I'm trying to go high with the punches. And again, if you get them in the air, it's game over. Because it seems like the AI knows how to... It, it registers exactly what you're going to input when you put it in. Right, I could just defend here. There we go. I'll take it. Which means there's no jump cuts on this one. Which is good news for a change. But still. Ooh. What? Okay, and then the final boss fight. Which could be here for a while. We never know yet. Nice. Maybe not. I could actually do this first try. That'd be very cool, wouldn't it? Nope, always doing the grab. Have a head grab. I mean... I don't mind the head grab. If it takes three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, ouch. Okay, then. And we can just win the first try. <laughs> Point proven, I've been saying this entire time. Law is the best character in Tekken 1. That just proves my point. Because we went through that very quickly. Now, I don't know who played as Marshall or Forrest. But I feel like we're playing as Marshall. It could be Forrest actually, because Forrest could own the dojo and his father owns the walk. I actually have no idea. Generally have no idea. Not a fucking clue. But either way. No more Tekken. I think I tried to explain the story in like five seconds yesterday, and that could have gone bad. I don't know what we what I said, to be honest. But I know he actually set up this tournament to try and find someone strong to help him. I believe to help him fight a devil or someone to do something. I know it's for money as well and all that stuff because it's that's what the tournament is for. He wants to find some people powerful enough. Maybe it's also draw out his son as well because he doesn't want to kill his son for the devil gene. This is against the devil gene. Hence why he's killed his wife from Tekken 7. Hence why he's killed this or tried to attempt to kill his son a few times. And attempt to kill his own dad. And his grandson. So. There's all that. Cool. Anyway. There's the title money thing. See you tomorrow with more Tekken. Have a good day.